My name is Paul Peterson. I am an art teacher at Southwest Middle School, and for the past five years or so, we've been making skateboards in my class. I remember the Polk County School Board mission statement a few years ago talked about rigor and relevance. And what I found in 20 years of teaching that the kids are learning all these skills, but they're not able to apply them in a relevant way to where they are right now. So by making the skateboards, they're able to incorporate the math, science, and artistry of taking a raw material to a finished product that they can go out and actually physically use. Here at Southwest Middle School in Lakeland, Florida, art teacher Paul Peterson dives into the art of fusing academics with woodworking and design, re-sparking vocational and academic skills that had previously been fading away in the academic world. There's always a beginning to any endeavor, and Mr. Peterson started less than five years ago. In 2014, Lakeland was a sponsor city for InnoSkate, and that year we hooked up with createaskate.org, and we made about 50 skateboards. The next year, students wanted to make skateboards again, so we spent about a year and a half to two years researching what kind of materials should we use, where can we get the materials at a regular cost. So we were able to bring an average of $100 per skate deck down to about $35 in materials. Now having the will and a way to do so, Peterson regularly involves his students in the physical process of making skateboards, making it a fun and educational experience for everyone. I work with the kids and we design what kind of skate they want to ride for the type of riding they want to do. And we get Baltic birch ply, which is a hardwood that's cut down to a sixteenth of an inch, and we layer nine layers of them together in a 12-ton hydraulic press. All right, I need your help, guys, because you always, every time you glue something, you got to do sound effects. And since we're on film, ready? Oh! <laughs> that takes a very thin, relatively flimsy piece of wood and allows us to put curves in it and by layering so many layers together it'll support the weight of a full-grown adult. Once we have the pressed wood blank like this, my students then have to measure to find a center point all the way down so that we, add, we can design a template that's going to be symmetrical on both sides. While standardized testing and future readiness have become a dominant focus in schools today, Peterson's vocational involvement gives light to the dynamic importance of applying real-world knowledge that raises the standards for achievement and instills fundamental basics of history, math, science, and even economics. I want to keep making them because I want to keep writing them. Honestly, it's just a fun thing to do. It gets a lot of students really interested in my subject matter rather than just getting put in an art class that they may or may not be too interested in. At this age, a lot of my students are less concerned about the classics, the Greeks and the Renaissance, but you talk skateboards, hot rods, and graffiti, they're loving it and they're learning the same skills with uh, perspective, color, shading, and so on. And once I get them hooked, then I can bring in a little bit more of the history of where all these skills came from. This is my board, I painted it with zombies. It probably took me about a week or two to paint this. This one right here is one of my favorites. Her name is Taylor Haynes. She did this, I believe, her sixth grade going into her seventh grade year. So she is about 12 when she painted this skateboard. Once the kids finish designing, cutting, and painting their board into a final product, they finally get to experience what it's like writing something entirely of their own creation. We kind of have like a freedom to do kind of whatever we want on the boards. Of course, you're not painting on paper or drawing on paper. It's a little different. And if you know how, you can write it and kind of be proud of what you've done. What I found with my students is it really you know, it seems to empower them to 
go out and earn the money to participate in the program themselves rather than asking mom and dad. And the beauty of it is no two skateboards are exactly alike. They work collaboratively in groups, discovering their own talents, intelligence, and self-confidence. All vital ingredients to building a better future of role models, one skateboard at a time.